In this video, I'm going to show you how to download shaders in Minecraft Bedrock without using RTX. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up any web browser. For this video, we're going to be utilizing Google Chrome. All right, guys, once you're on Google, please go ahead and type this in mcbecentral.com, then go ahead and press on enter. This is a free Minecraft website where you're able to find the most recent and up-to-date shaders for Minecraft. And what's great is that a lot of these shaders don't require RTX. So let me go ahead and show you guys around really quickly. So over here, we do have the shader section. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that and over here is going to give you a bunch of shaders that you guys can go ahead and install so take a look at this now one key thing to note that in the shaders that says vibrant visuals that means that we do not need rtx so if like a shader says rtx don't download that one because obviously you will need rtx the an rtx graphics card in order to run it however if the, the page doesn't say rtx then you are good to go for example this one just says vibrant visuals and if it says vibrant visuals that means it will work without rtx and it will also work on legit any device out there so even on a mobile device which is honestly pretty insane obviously the mobile device needs to be a little bit on the higher end but anyways guys once you're here all you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll down and typically they'll give you a bunch of information about the shaders itself and also some images but you just want to go ahead and scroll down until you see this download link over here and you just want to go ahead and press on it all right guys now i'm going to give you a quick disclaimer every single download link is different so what some shader creators do is they make you watch an advertisement first and then they give you the file so again it really depends where you download it from and as long as you're downloading it from mcp central or any other reliable website you are good to go and you will be safe so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just download it just like so now depending on your web browser you may be able to see it on the top right just like this however if you don't see it what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads but anyways guys the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and just open up the file just like so and now it is going to say import started and it's automatically going to open up minecraft so there you go it says successfully imported so here's what we need to do now so you want to go ahead and press on settings right over here then you want to go to the left menu and scroll down until you see global resources. Then go ahead and select on my packs and you should see the shader that you did just download. So, yep, here it is. So you just want to go ahead and press on activate. And then what you want to do is you want to go over here to where it says video and you want to scroll down and you want to make sure that graphics mode is actually set to vibrant visuals. So, again, we are going to be using vibrant visuals in order to run this, not RTX. So that's honestly pretty cool. Anyways, guys, once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go back to the main menu and just load into any Minecraft world or even like a server or a realm. This is still going to work on those as well, which is honestly another major plus. So let's go ahead and just wait for the world to load in really quickly. All right, guys, and here's how things do look like. So things look absolutely stunning. As you're able to tell, we actually do have shaders. And best of all, this is not requiring RTX. So in theory, you could run this on a mobile device. So obviously, the mobile device needs to be like on the higher end. Uh, I'm just going to be completely honest. But the point is, um, we are able to get these awesome looking shaders without the use of RTX. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.